What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so we've experienced a lot in the last episode. We managed to get through the Rose Tower and take on our scary but sexy girlfriend, Miss Oliana, or most Miss Olina. Don't know how to pronounce her name, but man, is she fine when she's mean. <laughs> and uh, what did we do? Oh, yeah. We... We're trying to figure out what 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 the heck are what the heck is Leon doing? Like what what was he doing with Mr. Rose and all that stuff? So now it is time for us to continue our little thing right here into the Pokemon League, and of course this guy is going to be waiting for us. Great, awesome, fantastic, and well, he's right here saying this is it here at the Winden or Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium of all, Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate. And set world, set the world on fire. Okay, alrighty. So go get yourself checked in. You know what? I do what I want, but uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you on this one right here. So here it is, guys. Um, in this particular battle, or this particular event right here, we're going to have at least three matches, or we're gonna have, we're gonna have at least four matches now. During this episode right here, I am I'm actually going to be showing you guys the uh, the uh, actually the separate battle that I'm going to have in Pokemon Shield because in this in this particular event right here, we are going to be taking on B and Alistair. B, of course, in Pokemon Shield, you will get to battle her in Pokemon Sword. Or no, no, actually, scratch that. Pokemon Sword, you will be battling uh, B. And in Pokemon Shield, you'll be battling Alistair. If you guys don't remember, these are two different Pokemon trainer uh, gym leaders that you face off throughout your adventure. And of course, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they, you know, they're exclusives and whatnot. So let's go right ahead and check in and see what we're talking about right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, Challenger Draven. We've been waiting on you since you won your way through the semifinals. You must face off against gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this uh, final bracket will will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go into the locker room right now? Yes, straight away. Let's get this. Okay, alrighty. Well, look at that. All the gym leaders are right here, except for Alistair. Now, if you are playing Pokemon... Uh, if you are playing Pokemon uh, Shield, you'll be seeing Alistair in this one, but... I see somebody I like. Well, hello there. It's been a while, Nessa. Long time no see! This will be a different sort of battle than uh, you face in the gym or uh, gym challenge. Those were basically test matches. But this, this is a serious battle. Let me just stare at you for a little bit because you... Um, mm, 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 mm. Anywho. Let's go ahead and talk to Pierce. I'd say aim to win this thing. And I'll do without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride. And see him smile once again. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead and go straight to the pitch. Yes, I am ready. Then we go. Let's get this. Alrighty, it is time to kick some butt, take some names, get everything going right here. And oh, well, I wonder who our first battle is going to be against. Let's find out. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar. I am your champion. The champion is tied up with some business, so I'm hoping no minds. Uh, I can't even read this fast, but here we are uh, being presented by the champion of Galar. And, well, this is sword version. Uh, you won't be seeing Alistair right here, but, of course, he is just saying, let the finals begin right here. And, well, it is time. Wait, you. Uh-oh. You serious? Who's that? Oh, it's the dude that I thought was a chick. A moment if I may. Does anyone here remember, even remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bede, he's the challenger endorsed by the chairman, uh, chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with uh, challenger Draven here. I'm aware that this is uh, against the rules, but I must ask nothing less. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I will retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events! Former challenger Pete has come for one last battle. 
we are currently debating what to do with the Challenger bead. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask of you, please be patient. I know this is a ridic ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done ha was has gone wrong. It was only in or it was Olina who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into boot camp on a fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here I am pouring my heart out to you and when I and when I never loot lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bead's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Ch Challenger Draven? Bring it. I'm just uh, I'm just saying bring it right now. My will hasn't broke it hasn't been broken yet. Oh, well, that's great to say. So here it is, guys. Our first challenge, it's going to be against Bede, and well, he is ready to go, and yeah, for the longest time, guys, I thought Bede was a chick. I thought Bede was a chick by the way he was dressed, so my bad. So here it is, Bede coming out with Fairy-type Pokemon, and he's like, we face way too much to quit now. Okay, so of course, we're getting a Mawile right here with an Intimidate. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a Bulldoze because, yes, Mawile is still a Steel-type Pokemon right here. And look at that. Mawile defeated. Oh, yes. Fatality. Flawless victory. Look at that. Okay. And, well, Gym Leader Bead. Wow, it's a, he's, a, he's a Gym Leader now? Holy crud, I didn't even know that. Okay, so here we are going to be shaking, uh, shaking it up right here. Let's go with Blitzkrieg. See if we can actually uh, do some damage with this guy right here. So here we go, Blitzkrieg, both a poison and electric type Pokemon. And well, B coming out with a guard devour. Looking all mean and everything. So here we go. Let's get this. Let's go with a poison jab. Let's go with poison jab just to make it fun for this guy right here. So here we go, poison jab does its thing. Say goodbye to guard devour. Yeah, buddy. No more Guard Devour. Oh, yes. All right, so here, well, here he's going to come out with a Rapidash, and, well, I'm just going to continue on right here with the same Pokemon because, of course, Rapidash in this version is a, well, it's Galarian Rapidash, and it is a fair and Psychic-type Pokemon, so let's go with the Poison-type move just to finish this majestic creature. Look at this. Oh, yes. That's right, guys. We are not giving any mercy to our good old buddy Bead right here. And, well, here he's going to be coming out with his final Pokemon, and that is Hatcherini, which, of course, is Dumbledore in our term right here. So let's see if we can switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and, you know what, let's continue right here with Blitzkrieg. What is this, uh, what is that calm expression? Hmm, I don't know. Probably that I know I'm going to beat you, and it's going to be pretty badly. Alrighty, so here it is. Anticipation, ready to shuddered. And well, let's go with a Dynamax and just go with the Max Ooze right here. So, time for Digivolution on both ends right here. Let's go. Time to Digivolve our Pokemon. Here we go. Bam. Grow. Grow. And grow! So there it is. The Rockstar himself, Blitzkrieg, ready to take some, uh, you know, Ready to take on some you-know-whos, and we'll show you how truly great pink is. It's time for my dear Hatterini to gi a gi a Gigantamax. Again, don't know how to read properly. It's okay. It's fine, but guess what? Look at this. This Hatterini right here has a pretty cool form when it Gigantamaxes. It looks like this guy right here has the best one. Okay, so that is scary, but... As we all know, Blitzkrieg is a little bit faster than Hatrini. We should know because we have one of ourselves. And there it is. Super effective. Flawless victory on all ends of this whole thing. Shattering this guy's hopes and dreams. Just shattering them. And Baconator grows to level 79. Which, you know, 
he is close to level 80. So now, yeah, we are we are definitely kicking some butt right here. And look at that. Throwing out the peace sign. Time to retire, homie. I could have win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Yeah, if you use them properly. Okay, so I guess he's happy? Sad? I don't know. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead has, was no match for Challenger Draven and his and his trusted team. Hey, Bead, that was some match. Well, it looks like everybody's uh. <laughs> it turns out that everybody is cheering for this guy because they're saying, "Don't retire, just restart your career." But this isn't what I planned. I was able to def I wasn't able or I was able to defeat you. Then everything would have been fine. Even if I lost, I was just going to. I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from the old lady. You just keep messing my messing up my plans. With everyone cheering on cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Apollo in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on the two young trainers. Now, tra Challenger Draven, please head back to the chat locker room so you can rest up. From that unexpected match. Okay, well, all right. Well, that wasn't really unexpected. I kicked butt pretty badly right there. So, rather surprising for Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head in onto the p onto the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Well, I would stop the episode right here, guys. But, 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 this is going to be a full episode of who are we going to face right here now. The obvious first is always going to be Nessa, our girlfriend Nessa. Now, it's this beauty right here. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, shit. She's outside. Okay, so we're going to be taking on Nessa. She is the water type gym leader that we faced a few uh, episodes back. Not only is she hot when she's doing this whole Pokemon battling thing, but she is very deadly when it comes to the Pokemon as well. Now, in the next match after Nessa, it all depends on what Pokemon version you're playing. I am currently playing Pokemon uh, Sword, so I will be taking on Bead. I will cut into the next cut screen right here against Alistair. That way, bam, you can get both sides of the of the coin right here. Because if you're playing Pokemon Shield, Alistair will be your opponent after uh, after uh, what was it again? What was it? What's her name again? Good gravy! After Nessa, and then it all leads to the last trainer, which happens to be Ryan. And from there, it's just one big old, you know, it's one big old cluster, you know what. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and, actually our Pokemon are fully healed, so let's go ahead and, let's do something right here. Okay, so we do have a, a nice team. I did say I was going to showcase some newer Pokemon or some other Pokemon that we've used in the past. So I think it's time for us to actually start using some, uh, you know, interesting Pokemon from other versions and all that stuff, such as Bonesaw. Here we have Hydra looking like a beast right here. And, well, we're going to switch him out for Dumbledore. We got Sparky and Aaliyah. You know what? Looks like to us that we're going to be using Sparky and Aaliyah in this, in this episode right here. And then, just to make it a little bit better, we're going to find ourselves another Electric-type Pokemon that we've used in the past. One being, where are you? Where in the heck are you? You know what? Let's go ahead and use Gaia. I kind of want to use Gaia number two. Mainly because, well, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that this chick's going to screw me over. Let's go ahead and switch out Blitzkrieg. Now, let's put Blitzkrieg back into the front right here. And, uh... Yeah, there we go. Put Blitzkrieg right there. Michelangelo right here. Now we've already used we've already used uh, Balto. Now there is another Pokemon here that I kind of want to use or showcase for this one right here. So let's see. Where in the mother loving are you? There is a Pokemon here that was on my team. Oh, there you are. There we go, Raiden. So let's go ahead and grab Raiden right here. A team full of electric type Pokemon and fighting type and these guys right here. So let's see where now I could use another Pokemon right here that could uh, actually benefit us. We actually do have a uh, a level 80 Leafeon. So there's yeah, we could use that Pokemon just to help us out right here. But 
since we've never used them in, our, in any of our teams, I, I'm going to have to decline that one right there. So let's see. Is there anybody else that we've used? We could use Shiftry because technically we did use them at one point when I was driving XC711, but that is probably not, that's probably going to be a no-go right there. And well, I guess we have our team. Optimus is going to be there on standby just in case. And well, actually, hold on, let, hold on just a sec. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go into the bag right here and uh, find a good move for these Pokemon right here. Grass Knot. Grass Knot is a TR, so that right there is not going to actually help. Actually, you know what? Leaf Blade. I could buy Leaf Blade whenever I want, so let's go ahead and give that to Gaia number two. And it looks like to me that we're going to have to take away Wide Guard. That way, that takes care of that. And you can hear the TR just breaking right there. So let's see. Is there any anything else that I can use? Let's go with a TM right here. You gotta really hate the TRs because most of the like most of the best moves are TRs and yeah, they, it's just it, yeah. It just destroys Well, it, you know, we can't really use them. It 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 makes us I don't know how to how to say it guys. It just makes us uh it makes us work for these extra moves a little bit harder right here. Now, I did not know that Bone Saw can learn Psycho Cut. And, well, we're going to use Psycho Cut for our good old buddy Gaia number two, just to have some proper moves right here. Now, Bone Saw, I could use some pretty good moves on this guy. Let's see. Brick Break for. Ah, we could use it for uh, Bone Saw. Revenge. Um, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to stick with what we got right here because uh, it looks like to me that this Pokemon trainer that we're gonna be taking on is going to—it's just a Water type trainer. So there's a lot of stuff that we're not worried about. We do have the right moves for this particular job, sorry, right here. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start off with Aaliyah right here. My little girl, Aaliyah. Okay, so let's get this going. Let's go on to the next match, and this one is going to be against another one of our girlfriends, Nessa. Mm, 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 mm. Looking fine as always, and of course I'm going through the other side. And Well, commentator's right here. He's like, the time, the time for waiting is over. The finals of the championship battle or championship cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face off with each other at first. The battle of, blah, 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 I can't even read. The two trainers to face each other in a, the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself. Challenger Draven and his opponent, the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. Good God, she looks just... Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just staring at her, and she's just like, God. God damn. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hol uh, Hol Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to, to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become champion either. Do you know why? Because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to, under I'm not going to underestimate you this time. I'll use Dynamax to watch or to wash you out to the sea and beyond the horizon. Oh wow. I really do to I do I really do love it when they talk like ferocious to me. It just mm. Okay, so here it is guys. We're gonna be taking on uh, tri gym leader Nessa. And well look at this. Wow! Flexible. Let's go and here she's coming out with a go uh well she's coming out with a gl Galisopod, a Galisopod, a Galisopod. Wow, I'm butchering everybody's name right here. So she is, uh, <laughs> she's sucking her crap already. But guess what? Let's go with a discharge attack. But Galisopod using first impression. That right there paralyzes this Pokemon. And well, here comes the discharge attack for the win. And wow, because of that, the emergency exit. Galissapod is going back to his trainer and he's going to be switching out another Pokemon, which is Barrascuta. So, as you can see, Barrascuta looking mean as always, but it is a very, very uh, 
well, not a very, very, but very scary Pokemon because it can go first, as you can see, Barry Skuda using its drill run, and there goes Aaliyah. Good gravy. Okay, so that didn't work out. That didn't, yeah, that didn't work out the way I thought it would. So, let's go with Raiden right here. Alright, Raiden, time to make your presence felt right here into the Pokemon League in Galar. And now that this Pokemon is paralyzed, let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a little bit of Thunder. Third down Thunder. Bam! For the win, say goodbye to Periscuta. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so... About to come out with a Seeking. Let's go with Bone Saw right here. Now, I do have a bit of an, an idea. There is a reason why I came out with Aaliyah. A very, very, very good reason why I came out with Aaliyah. The only thing is... I got a Reviver first. So... Let's go right ahead and start reviving Pokemon right now. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, bag Pokemon right here. And let's go with the Max Revive. We got plenty of those little bastards, so give that to Aaliyah. And there we go. Aaliyah has been revived. We'll be on standby, but here comes a Mega Horn. Nearly wrecks us. Bonesaw gets a critical hit on him. All right, time. Time. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and test our luck. Guillotine attack. And that has been avoided, so here comes an Aqua Ring. Now, Guillotine is the one-hit KO move that, of course, has a 30% chance to actually hit your Pokemon, or the, uh, the opposing Pokemon. As you can see, we missed twice. Chances are we might not even hit this Pokemon at all, so we're going to do it again with another Guillotine, and it works. Bam! Guillotine attack, one-hit KO. Say goodbye to <laughs> Gold... Uh, or Sea King right there. All right, so here she's coming out with Gal Galissapod. So let's go with Sparky right here just to finish this whole thing off. All righty. Sparky, if you guys may have remember, was my Pokemon in Pokemon Leaf Green and in Pokemon... Or actually Pokemon Yellow, so... It should be able to keep its own against Galissapod right here. And more likely this guy is going to come out with his uh, first impression. So let's go with another Discharge Attack. And boy was I correct, and that one takes a chunk, a huge chunk out of my Pokemon. And there it goes, Gallisapod. Defeated. Need to work on the names properly, and there we go. And well, she's going to come out with a Pelipper, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go... Let's go back to Raiden right here. I know, I know, I've been using Raiden a little too much. But I got a little something planned for this. Got a lot planned. So, Raiden. Let's get this. Okay. Pelipper looking strong, looking big and everything. But guess what, Raiden? He is just, has just gotten helped by Pelipper's Drizzle right here. So, let's go with a Thunder. Now with Drizzle, Thunder will not miss. And look at that. Sign sealed delivered. Say goodbye to Pelipper. What now? What now? Oh, yeah. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Dreadnought. So, let's go ahead and switch it out to the Pokemon that we were planning on using. And that is our good old buddy, Gaia number 2 right here. Now, it has been a while since we've used Gaia number 2. I guess it's Sinnoh. Probably since Sinnoh. Yeah. Alrighty. She's looking beautiful as always. Looks like I'm down to my last Pokemon, but I'm saving my last Pokemon for last. Here she is coming out with Dreadnought. And this guy is looking like he's ready to go. So let's go with a Max Knuckle right here. So we're both going to Digivolve our Pokemon. There it is. What now? And here it goes. Grow. 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 What's up? Gaia number two in uh, <laughs> Gigantamax form. And here she is, Flood the Stadium with the Gigantamax. God damn, she is beautiful. I I'm just saying, guys, look at her. Good God. And here she comes out with her version of Dreadnought. Now this guy right here, look at that. He's got himself... Yeah, his Gigantamax form right here now. 
this is a little this is a little scary because this guy actually looks like a friggin tank right here and well here comes the max knuckle attack nearly defeats Dreadnought and that increases my Pokemon's attack just a tad bit and she's looking at it it's like this little gift from us I hope you can take it oh snap and here comes G max stone surge this is a new one for me and I think it's exclusive to the Pokemon that it's well to this Dreadnought right here and well time to finish this guy off let's go with a max overgrowth and well she's coming in with her full restore and that right there will actually oh well it's all right this actually happens max overgrowth will actually do the trick for us because it is a quadruple damage attack and well bam everybody gets healed you get healed you get healed and you get healed not you though and there goes Dreadnought. Say goodbye. Look at that. Holy crud. Man, we played a... We, <laughs> we, we got ourselves a battle right there. And just like that, we defeated Gym Leader Nessa. Good gravy. Looking fine as always. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder you won. Yes, baby. We, we won... <laughs> We won, uh, but we weren't really like paying attention to the battle. We were more so paying attention to, to you because, goddamn, the women of Galar should probably move there one day. And the winner is Draven. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it like, off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered the, our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd put more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride the current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle in the first round will begin shortly. So as you can see, guys, this is, the, uh, this is actually the playoff format. Uh, for Pokemon Sword right here. Now, in Pokemon Shield, where B is at, Alistair it takes her place. So, in the next episode, guys, I am going to start off my second battle against, you know, B, the fighting type gym leader. And then I will cut to Pokemon Sword, where we'll, we'll be, we will be battling Alistair. And then at the very end, the last trainer, which hopefully, maybe, might be either Piers or Ryan. I got my money on Piers. I'm just saying. So there it is. The first round is completely done. And that is pretty much it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be having at least... Well, yeah, we'll be having three battles in two different versions. So thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.